I consider myself to be as much an educator and a teacher educator as a scholar. And if I look back over my career as a whole, I think my main contribution, particularly thinking of the length of time I spent in this faculty, which is 27 years, was as dean for nearly seven years. And in saying that, I don't think I'm referring to particular achievements that I could regard as being in any way personal, because I think any achievements in a faculty are very much the product of the collective effort of staff and students and everyone who works within the, the collective faculty, but very much more in relation to creating a climate in which other people feel supported, feel encouraged, feel motivated to perform at their best. And so I think if I were to summarize what I think, what I hope is my main contribution during my years at Hong Kong U, it's helping to create that sort of climate, which I think has helped to lead the faculty to where it is today. I think I would make two interconnected points. I think all of us enter professions like teaching, professions like education, because we have a passion. It may be a passion to help others, it may be a passion to, and a curiosity to, to want to find out about how people learn and so on. I think it is terribly important that we all try to maintain that passion. There are so many pressures on us all, whether as teachers, pressures from principals and so on, whether it's in the tertiary sector, pressures to perform in research and so on. And those can often undermine the passion that engaged our enthusiasm in the first place. And that passion, I think, is something that everybody needs to work hard to retain. And I think one thing that I've always found crucial to my own ability, I think, to retain that passion is keeping some sort of balance in one's life, making sure that there is space for the other important things in life, the crucially important things in life, like family, like friends, like outside interests. And by retaining that kind of balance, I think one can retain one's health and I hope also retain one's passion for what one wants to do in life as a professional. When I look back over my years in the faculty, I guess two things really stand out amongst the colleagues that I've known and the things that I've experienced here. I used the word passion earlier and I think that the, the passion that I have seen people within this faculty possess and demonstrate so frequently in the way they, they deal with students, the way they approach teaching, the way they really engage so much with the work that they do and the commitment that they show not only to those tasks but also to professional communities, to helping those who need to be helped and those who deserve to be helped. And those are qualities which I think have made this faculty great and I very much hope going forward they will continue to be one of the defining qualities of this faculty.